Go back where you was, in front of the bins. Go. Yeah, that's it. Come on. Yeah. What's Yeah. This whole time we've been filming. My name is Katrina Duncan, Marshallick. I'm 14 years old and live on New Park Road. That's New Park Estate. And to get to my house, it's a little death trap. There's bees coming out of every corner, especially this overgrown bush. The bees hang onto the edge. There's stinging that was overgrowing. And you can't get up the stairs. You can't get over the ramp. You have to climb over the wall. And it's just a nightmare, especially when you're tired. Me and my sister used to sit on each other's um, shoulders so you reach the intercom so we can call her down to play. But now, it's just a little press of the button. We was, was playing football with the earliest day and there was about 20 of us. And we was just playing football and the ball went over to BT. And like, everyone's been curious to know how to get up them stairs and why these locked off the stairs here. We got to the top and it's a bit of a jump to get to the actual roof. And, and again, a couple of people chickened out. So there's about five people left. And I was one of them. Walked around, could see my school, could see all the shops, could see everything. You could see just farm and all the other estates that we play in today. We still talk about it, going up there and try fight. And they locked it off here, yeah? so now we can't get in there. Oh, I love football. I'm just that's what I want to be. I just want to play football or teach people how to play football, like be a coach. Yeah, I support Chelsea and I'm privileged enough to play for them as well. Every Saturday, play for Chelsea Centre of Excellence. So one day, yeah, all the parents got together and decided that they're going to have a barbecue for the estate. My dad got the, his jerk pan, yeah, like his barbecue, and put it in the park against the wall. A big sound system playing to all hours in the night. It's just, and there's about 100 kids there. And some more kids that not from the estate but come because they heard about the free food. Now, I didn't know that many people lived in my estate. And there was big kids, little kids, old people, young people, just there eating the food and dancing to the music. When we was little, we used to play fire, the fire brigade, we used to park our bikes at the bottom, climb to the top and pretend we, pretend we had to go and fight fires on the estate. We used to all go down the pole get on our bikes, zoom off and come back up. My little dog, Caspar, my little staff, I've had him for seven, six, seven years. And he's, every day, every morning, I just have to walk him. I have to um, let him go to the toilet there. When I get back from school, I, d I let him in there again. And then in the evening, if it's not raining or cold, I take him to the common. I like living on the estate, and I have over 14 years of my life. But I need a change. So when I'm older, I don't want to move out of Brixton or Strum or Clapham. I just want to have a estate just like this and have my kids just like me <laughs> on this estate telling the similar stories. Um, I go to Mono Road Baptist Church. I've been going there six years. Um, God has been a big commitment in my life for the last six years. And last year, no, this year I got baptised and I just enjoy church. On the stage underneath there is a baptistry where I got baptised. And Pete plays the drums and this man called Mark, he plays the guitar while we sing. Who plays piano? No one. My name's Pastrum, I'm going to tell you about the story of my dog. It was one Sunday afternoon and my dog was very bored. No one was in the house, everyone was at work or school. And the pigeon was outside on the ledge. The window was open, so the dog took one step onto the ledge and jumped. Bonnie, get away from there, you're going to fall! No, Bonnie! <laughs> the pigeon flew away and she fell into the bush. She broke her leg. If she never fell into the bush, she would have died. A missed a drawing of me, which was drawn by a member of staff last year. Um, this is the chair I sit at at the youth club, Salmon. Um, I usually sit there with my cousin, Gemma. Um, there's a fire door and a, 
When I was seven, me and my cousin were near it and um, she accidentally um, pushed the door and all the fire alarm went off and we both panicked. And then everyone started rushing around and everyone thought it was a real fire and all their workers come panicking, saying, get out of the building. And then she realised what she had done. And last year, um, we performed our dance performance in this gym and in front of our parents and the workers at the club. Um, a professional dance company came in and taught us um, two dance routines and we performed them. Okay. Um, I've been coming here since I was five and I'm now 14. So I've been coming for um, nine years. Um, I enjoy this club because it's somewhere you can hang out with your friends and um, do activities. Um, I enjoy dancing and um, listening to music and it's just a place you can do what you want. This is Lauren and Joe's story. Right, it all started during the six weeks holiday and we were just really, really bored, me, David and John. So we just decided to go climb over the wall in this old building site around our area. Ruin. It was a ruin. Yeah. It was just mucking about. Like just basically. running about and just like, you know, climbing. Rocks about. Yeah, climbing in the house. Yeah. And then we heard barking and realised it was a massive alsatian running across the... Um, Flat, feet flat towards room. us. Well, me and Joe, we just Ooh. legged it. Absolutely. We just we held it down. The we ran to the side. opposite side of the building site and jumped over a wall. Yeah, and I badly scraped my leg. I had like three well, I climbed onto scratches. the wall and then I had to drag Lauren up. <laughs> but then David, our mate, got trapped in a corner and the dog was trapping him in there. Yeah. And, um, and the security guard came and he had to literally rub and tackle the dog. This Dog. Roughly tackled the dog down and then David run. We run from Spa Road all the way around to Goodwin Close, which is on Yulden Road. And then we met him. Met him, met him and David was just like traumatised. Pure panic. He was so Rex. scared. He was like white. He was absolutely oh was so scared. My name's Anthony Hawes, I'm 20 years old and 17 years ago I lived in this house. 82 Metically, where I lived for a few months before we had to move, before it was closed down. It was kind of fun, a whole load of people there, about seven or eight off the top of my head. I lived in the room on the left hand side, the first floor um, and my left hand side is the side I write with and that I'm, I'm very conscious of that these days and the word left, uh, left behind. Left the country, moved away from my family, left my family behind um, and that's, that's about it I think. Um, I was only in there for a week. That's, <laughs> that's, yeah. Shame we couldn't be there a bit longer, though. I mean, <laughs> it was all fun and games, really. Even though we did have some like scary moments there, like Halloween and f um, the day after fireworks night. It was all good. It's kind of funny. Hi, my name's Hazeline. I came and lived here when I was nine years old. I used to live at Nassau Lane and play in the sandcastle. My name is Julie. Me and my friends used to play with apples. We used to throw them about in the garden. Then after that, we used to collect them up and then give them to the older staff. 
As sometimes the staff use my apple pies and we never used to eat them and the staff just stayed and we just burst out laughing. Apple. Many people have sat on this bench, as you can see from the markings, once a vibrant meeting place for people from all walks of life. People from the children's homes, people coming from the park, people coming from the abortion clinic, from everywhere. Last year, the children's homes were shut down by the council and sold to be developed into flats. Now it's just a bench with no one on it.